Hello and welcome back to Everyday Fitness. I'm Liam, how's it going? Do you wanna be mates? Maybe not, right? So, the good news that we've had is that, obviously, gyms are to be reopening on the 25th of July, which is a godsend, really, to be honest, isn't it? Because everyone's sick and tired of using friggin' bands, man. Nobody nobody really cares about it anymore, and I think everyone, in, on a more serious note, is lacking a lot of motivation and sort of a lot of direction. They don't really know where to go with what they're doing. Um, Whereas the gym almost offered sort of a insight as to where you should be going and what you should be doing. All right, so I thought in light of um, the gym's reopening, I'll do a gym related video because this is a fitness channel. Um, so I'm going to talk through the three things I wish I knew before sort of getting into the gym. I was going to title it before I lift started lifting, but I'm tiny, so it's... it's it's not feasible, is it, to be honest? So the three things I wish I knew before starting training, should I say, or my journey. And the, the first one is cardio is absolutely not essential, right? It's almost just, it is just a tool, right? It's not going to get you from A to B. If you want to efficiently, is the, a lot of emphasis on that word. If you want to get from A to B as fast as possible, then cardio is not the answer for, on a fat loss standpoint, of course. It's a great tool and it's something that you can bring in and implement when intensity potentially needs to be increased or expenditure needs to be increased or you're struggling with hunger. So maybe you want to increase calories, but therefore you're going to have to increase a bit of cardio, right? It's great for that. However, when I started lifting, I assumed that because I was overweight, I needed to run or jog or jump on a cross trainer or a stationary bike to, to shift the weight almost. But from a expenditure point of view, it's not the most efficient way forward it is um that is resistance training and that is the thing that you need to be focused on and for the potentially first few months i was putting a little bit too much emphasis on cardio until i started to read a little bit more and almost develop my knowledge a little bit more on what is the most efficient way for me um, and that does appear to be resistance training and that will never be beaten right so if you are in that position don't waste your time doing cardio for the sake of it. Um, make sure that you are resistance training. I'll be aiming to hit each muscle group twice a week as a minimum. That'd be great. The science isn't really clear on whether three times is superior to, to two, but the, the evidence is there for two. So I would be aiming for that. And then if you hit a weight plateau or there are other factors that come into it, maybe you're a bit hungry, so you want to increase calories. Like I said, maybe just implement a little bit of cardio. I wouldn't also go for high intensity cardio necessarily if it's if it's body fat that you're wanting to drop i would probably stay clear of that just because it's going to fatigue you really badly uh there's a lot of other reasons as well but the main one being i used to do it where i do like 30 minutes of like high intensity so 30 minute sprints 30 minute jog etc etc it just used to fry me um low intensity is it's going to be nice and steady um and you're going to be able to manage that a little bit more Okay, so second one is carbs are not your enemy, man. They're your friend. They are you, you like <clears throat> they are seen to be the absolute devil when it comes to to dropping body fat, right? A lot of people think they have to cut them out, and obviously the keto diet, obviously it's they are the devil still, almost, aren't they? Um, it prioritizes protein and fats a lot more, um, which is fine. I'm not saying that I'm truly against that. I'm just from my standpoint, they are not your enemy. They shouldn't be sort of looked as a bad thing. At the end of the day, it's just the, the fuel to your car, isn't it? To be honest, it's just going to give you the energy to, to get through your day, to get through your training. And especially when you're in a deficit, I think they're, they're needed even more because you're already running low because you are in a deficit. So you need the carbs to replenish them glycogen levels and them stores that have that have been de depleted throughout training and and potentially cardio if, if you have implemented it. So we need to make sure that we aren't looking at them as a bad thing, but more looking at them as something that's gonna get us through the day almost. It's our fix, isn't it, of foods. So yeah, carbs are not the enemy, mate. Be pals with them. Obviously then you need to take into account um, which carb sources that you like, what you don't like. A lot of people sort of just smash rise because they see that bodybuilders on Instagram eat it as well. But 
if you if you're if you're not a fan of it, don't have it. Is what I'd say. Don't get sucked into what you should and shouldn't be having because food is essentially you. I'm looking at it, and we should all essentially look at it as um, almost like the fuel, but on a smaller and deeper level. We need to look at it from an efficient point of view as well because a lot of carbohydrates come with sort of higher calorie uh, levels than, than others and you can have higher sort of density carbohydrate filled foods as well so make sure that you're picking the one that's best suited to you so it doesn't necessarily just mean if you're in a deficit go for whichever carbohydrate you want you can still do that because it's the purpose of tracking and being accountable for your own actions right but I'm saying I would just play it smart so if you're in a deficit and you haven't got as many carbs as potentially somebody in a surplus then I'd go something that's almost lower calorie but higher volume in that sense um and i suppose that's why a lot of people smash rice because you can have a lot more than potentially other carb sources like pasta you get like fucking nothing with that so if you're on a deficit and watching this video don't eat pasta is what i'd say uh and the last one is nobody actually cares man nobody gives a shit the problem i had when i started out is i was dead self-conscious um I didn't want people to look at me, all that shite, right? You've heard it all before, you've seen it all. And that is the problem most people have, right? And it is actually a true first world problem, isn't it, to be honest. I think people genuinely still suffer with this a lot. Um, but what you need to know is people genuinely don't actually give a fuck what you're doing. Like, nobody actually cares. Unless, you're, unless your form's absolutely horrific and you're putting yourself in serious danger of imminent injuries, um, nobody cares. People are there to do what I'm in the gym to do, what you're in the gym to do. Everyone's got the exact same purpose, right? They want to better themselves. I know how cliche that sounds and I really didn't want to say that. However, it's it's sadly true. Not sadly true, it's actually just true. It's not sad, is it? Um, but on a serious note, people are there to improve their composition, their fitness, whatever their goal is, right? Everyone's goal is going to be different and it's subjective to each individual. However, everyone's purpose for being in that environment is the exact same and nobody can knock that. So don't go into it blindsided and, and be really naive to the thought that everyone's gonna be looking at you or judging you because it's absolutely not gonna happen. And I know that it actually holds a lot of people back. Like I've spoken to a few people and the reason that they haven't potentially started um, their journey as of yet, and that is because they may be either don't know how to get started right so they're misinformed they don't know enough uh, education's a little bit low on what they need to be doing which is absolutely fine but the second one is um, they don't feel like they have a sort of direction in the gym and they don't want people to sort of almost look down on them because they're not in the place that potentially somebody else is but you've got to know that everyone starts somewhere right i started somewhere Everybody watching this who goes to the gym started somewhere. Like these bodybuilders on stage, they all started somewhere. Do you know what I mean? And you've just got to be that somewhere and start, man. And that's it. Um, but yeah, no one cares, mate. Nobody cares unless, like I said, your form is terrible. And if that's so, maybe seek some guidance before you put yourself in hospital because it's not going to be great, is it, having a slip disc? Um, but yeah, that's the three things I wish I knew before I started going to the gym, not lifting, going to the gym. Um, I don't know if there's any more. I think they're the three main ones, to be honest. I think a lot of, I've tried to pick ones that a lot of people still almost not necessarily believe, but there's a lot of like shit about in the media. I think a lot of emphasis is placed on cardio and circuits and all that shit, which is fine, right? But I just want people not to be misinformed so i'm just giving my take on it obviously it's my opinion um obviously carbs are your pal like they are absolutely your friends everybody loves carbs as well nobody's nobody's turning down potatoes rice and and bread and stuff everyone loves that it's, it's what keeps us going and it keeps us ticking over so keep it in just obviously be mindful of the the calories that it offers um and lastly nobody nobody cares Nobody cares. Probably nobody cares about watching this video. I don't know. But nobody cares that you're in a worse position necessarily than somebody else. Because again, that is subjective, right? And everybody's different. So yeah, just, just don't care. Just go into it knowing what you're doing. If you need to seek guidance, do it. Don't be afraid to ask people for help. Like that's also an issue that should have maybe been in my video. 
fuck it, it's got in my video. Ask people for help if you need help. Just it everybody's everybody's there for the same purpose, like I said before. So people will help you. Like it's not an issue. If you don't know something, ask. Do not go on Instagram and assume that it's correct. Do not go on Google and assume it's correct because essentially it's probably shite because the power of editing and fucking social media influencers, the power they have is absolutely ridiculous, but you need to make sure that you're getting guidance from a trusted source, i.e. coaching, um, just people that are, have a reputation almost um, in the fitness industry is what I'd say, not Gymshark athletes. All right, that's it. See you later. Oh, look, I'm back and I never went. So for the purpose of this video, I'm also going to get Matt um, to pick three things he wish he knew before going to the gym slash lifting, whatever he wants to call his video. Um, and we'll get that uploaded for next week and we'll see we'll see how the two compare. Maybe they're the same, maybe they're not. They're probably not because I was, I was fat and he wasn't, he was skinny. So they're going to be wildly different, but I think that's going to bring some form of um educational purpose to the channel so we'll get that sorted so i don't know if you've got any suggestions or you like the video then like it if you want subscribe to to the channel i guess because we upload weekly as i say every every other week when i upload um if you do want to see anything else that's great we are going to be bringing like i'm going to do a full day of eating uh, as well because i think that's interesting i know it's all over youtube and and whatnot but i'm still going to do it because YOLO, I've just applied the YOLO principle, um, but if there's anything else, fire it down. <laughs>